And yeah, look how nice, beautiful, and smooth that is. Nuts. You want to point at somebody else? We left off last episode. We placed the pool in the ground. The pool wasn't perfectly level. Um, I wasn't happy with how it was sitting. I reverse engineered all the numbers and it turns out that Latham, the manufacturer of the pool, they sent out the wrong information on the dig sheet. Um, so we had to pop the pool out, place it on the road. We had to get back in the pool hole. We had to regrade everything. And yeah, it wasn't the most fun, but it got done nonetheless. Pool's in, it's nice level. Um, it's all filled with water. Everything's pressure tested. It's all plumbed, so there's no leaks in the plumbing. And then we have our concrete collar around the outside of the pool. Now the concrete collar is just designed to hold the pool shell in place. That way, if there's any movement, the concrete's gonna lock it in. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Takes a bit of a while to get things nice and rolling, but once it's done, it's done. So here we are. We got our pavers. The pool's all ready for pavers. Um, we'll be putting our coping, some pavers, and just getting all the finishing touches started. And then hopefully we'll have this one wrapped up within about the next three to four days. So here we go. Good morning, back on site on this fiberglass pool project. Quick little update for you guys. Uh, last time we were here, we were playing with the coping. We got one row of coping all done. Everything's nice, smooth, straight, and level. Um, it's a bit of a challenge when it comes to a fiberglass pool, as you may have seen in our first episode, if you watched it. Um, we actually had control when it comes to the insulated concrete pools on how straight this collar is up here. But on a fiberglass pool, they kind of send out the shell and this shell here has waves. So it's not perfectly smooth all the way, it's a little bit wavy. So when we place our coping stones down, they have teeters, um, which means that we have to spend a lot more time either grinding down the stone, shimming things up, pulling things up, trying to get it nice and perfect. Uh, so it does take a bit more time when we don't have full control over, I guess, the quality of the pool. But that's the nature of the beast with fiberglass. Um, so nonetheless, we'll continue plugging away. All right, to touch base on that problem that I mentioned a bit earlier with the fiberglass shell not being perfectly straight on top, uh, it actually translates to like this. So now I got to play with this piece. I got to grind the back of it, shim it, keep playing with it, pulling it up, pulling it, putting it down. Um, super frustrating and super annoying, especially when you're spending so much money on a fiberglass pool shell that they can't even send something out that's done properly. Um, and then obviously it makes us look like an idiot if it's not done perfectly because at the end of the day, everything's our fault. Uh, so it just takes much more time, frustration, irritation, and just, I guess, all the above to make sure it gets done properly. And yeah, it's really frustrating and annoying to say the least.
just a quick little explanation, as I give many explanations. We have to put mortar down where there's concrete and we can't put mortar on top of the fiberglass shell because mortar won't stick to it. So we use a construction adhesive. We use PL Premium, it's what I really like. Um, I would say it's probably one of the best ones on the market. But yeah, we mortar where the concrete is and then we put PL Premium on the fiberglass pool. That way we have thorough adhesion from front to back and we're not just relying on the mortar only. Tuesday we're back on site. Um, yesterday was a weird one. It was like 26 degrees. Today's like three degrees as you can see. I'm bundled up, got the neck warmer the hat on. Uh, but nonetheless, we got the coping done this morning. Right now we are backfilling for our patio. Um, access is really, really tight. So unfortunately we have to hand wheelbarrow all the material back there and bring it in. Not much else we could do. We can't fit machinery here, unfortunately. Um, so slow and steady, I guess, on this one. And yeah, today we're going to be throwing down some papers, getting that finished and wrapped up. And yeah, enjoy the show. Just get, get a picture of like the beginning with nothing in there. Get a shot of me eating and then just get a shot at the end. Like boom, that's it. That's what I do. <laughs> All right, now in front of us, we got a beautiful, beautiful paver. Ominously, one of my favorites, hands down. Unfortunately, there's not another product like it. Uh, the manufacturer, Tackle Block, they're a good manufacturer, although they're kind of annoying to work with. Uh, but nonetheless, let's show you this beautiful product. So this is called Antica. It is designed to mimic a cobblestone, a beautiful cobblestone. Um, as you can see, none of them are the same size. None of them are the same shape. They're all kind of irregular. Um, and yeah, we're going to be putting this around the coping and then putting the rest of the pavers around that as well. So you guys are going to see that in just a little bit. But nonetheless, like I said, Definitely one of the most beautiful paver stones out there. It's got a very nice, modern, sleek, as well as a very classic look to it. Uh, they've really done a beautiful job at capturing that old cobblestone paver, but I guess making it more modern as well. So yeah, that's the paver, Antica.
All right, end of eight. End of eight. Let's, re let's redo that. <laughs> Our end of date update for you guys. It is April 26th. It is absolutely freezing. As we get closer to summer, it feels like summer's never going to come. Um, but while we're here freezing our butts off, we got the patio all finished, as you can see. The coping got all completely finished this morning, too. Now the boys are just finishing putting in a accent border of Antica along the coping in between the coping and the other patio stone. And yeah, we'll be wrapped up most of the patio by the end of today. Just a bit more to do on that far side tomorrow. And yeah, this project's almost going to be a wrap. So stay tuned and you guys will see the final reveal. Back on site, today is going to be one of the final days. We're getting pretty much everything wrapped up today, minus just a few things. We're waiting still for the electrician to come in, do all the pool equipment, that way we can clean the pool. Uh, but if you can see behind me, if I get out the way, we have destroyed what was once a beautiful lawn. Um, it's just the name of the game. As you've seen before, we had a bunch of lumber. All that lumber managed to make its way into the soil which actually helped us because if not, then we would probably have ruts uh, about like foot and a half, two foot deep ruts, which would have sucked. So at least the lumber prevented that. Uh, but today we're going to be ripping up all this lumber. We're going to be tilling this up, putting down some fresh topsoil, some fresh seed. That way it can look beautiful once again. Um, and then we'll also go in the backyard and give you an update back there too. And now that we're in the backyard, if you can take a peek and see, the patio is all finished. Um, all the cuts are done, borders in, pretty much everything's done. Today we just got to do our nitro sand, which is just a joint compound that we put in between the pavers. Uh, some edging, some edge restraint, pressure washing everything, putting some decorative stone around the patio over there. Uh, getting that fence back up, like I said earlier, getting that lawn all prepped for some seed. And yeah, today's going to be a nice one, getting everything wrapped up and out of here. So enjoy the show. In front of me right here we got a product called nitro it is made by alliance um, it is a new jointing compound it is not polymeric sand a lot of people know what poly sand is this is not a polymeric sand it actually works differently uh, this actually gets soaked while you apply it it goes in and it solidifies it also allows water to just flow right through which is really really nice uh, so it serves multiple purposes but nonetheless it is a way better product shout out alliance for making this product it is the bomb.com and you're about to watch us install it.
what up YouTube end of day update for you guys if you can see behind me we have finished getting a lot of that joint sand all done all put in patios done I ended up getting the pool equipment that we needed to I found that in socks so I went and ran picked that up plumb that in so pool equipment's done um, we're doing another dump run we got one dump run done early in the morning putting the fence back up everything's coming along hopefully by the end of the day as i planned uh, but i guess we'll wait and see for that but yeah this job's getting wrapped up getting finished and yeah she's turned out to be a real stunner um we're gonna do a final reveal but i mean if you just take a quick pan and take a look she's definitely definitely starting to turn out man she's definitely looking looking like it was done by visionary you know what i mean the best of the class nice <laughs>